today's little walk for me and Carla is going to be called, what do we call it Carla? Well, it's either ramblings of Belur or Belur wandering. Yeah, it is. One or the other. One or the others. So we've been talking about doing this for quite a while, we looked out. It's quite a big long Pretty process nice for us. Penny! And as you know, we like our Falklands. <coughs> Is that tree again? Is that an ash tree? Yeah. Look at it. It's got various names, aren't they? Rywin, Ash. Rowan is called the Darwin, no, the Rowan. Rowan and Tack. Rowan and Tack. Yeah. At one time, oh, look. What? Oh, is there a peg tree? Peg tree's there. Yay! <laughs> Never far away from me, are they? I know some stuff about this, Ray. I'm sure you do. Well, out today in the hottest, well, one of the hottest days of the year's had, I think, so far. It's a bit warm. Yeah, we're going to be out today in one of the hottest days of the year. The things we do for our this view is, is unbelievable. <laughs> so, the, the, the Rowan Intac, as Carla said, would have been a variety of little places. We couldn't find the names of them all, but we found one or two of them. So tell us a bit about this one, Carla. Well, a fellow called John Gelling lived here. I think with his mother and brother. I can't be sure, though. Yeah. Mm. But he was accused of murder. Really? He was, yeah. Oh, right. They quitted in the end, but... A manx murder? Yeah, there was a woman called Betsy Crow. I think she lives in the house over there, or she did. Oh, we'll have to look at that later, then. Yeah. Um, it's weird though because this one, the guy, when he was getting accused, he had to get the train from here all the way to Castletown. Crikey. Mm. So to go to court. And so he'd go from here to Douglas, wouldn't he? Yeah. Uh, Would he go yeah. down to Kirkmichael Way? Right, uh, yeah. On that, and then St on that, John's to Douglas. The Northern Line yeah. and then across to Castletown. And there was loads of people lined up. Yeah, I did look a li little bit online about that and it was amazing. Mm. The murder took place in a night or something, and by the following morning, the whole other man knew about it. Yeah. Not without the internet. I know exactly. Could you imagine? So the guy, John Gellin, they accused him because they had a fallout over some sheets a few years ago, and he did actually turn around and say, um, "No, she thought that man's going to kill me or something." She thought something Betty like Crow that. did. Yeah. So that's why he was accused. Because yeah, he, right. he stayed out all night or something. He didn't get home till very early hours of the morning. I don't think they ever slept. At five in the morning or something. Really? And sat up with his mum. But had an hour in the chair. Yeah. And of course he's dragged off to court. Yeah, because she lent him some sheets. Some bed sheets or something. Yeah, I know. Bed sheets. And there was a fallout over it. It is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. There was yeah. another murder down at... Um, the Cluggard, a guy called Cowish or Cuish. Cowish, and I read, yeah. I read that one. Yeah. And apparently it, it was his father and the son, I think, maybe wrong, and mm. they argued over a chicken. It was a sheep. A sheep, was it? Yeah. Oh, right, you knew you that You should one. know this, Shepard. <laughs> you should do, shouldn't know. But just imagine a life for a sheep. Yeah. You can't it's, imagine that these days, can you? It's, it's weird, you know, cause I don't know if you've heard about, what's his name? He's in that book as well, the murder book. He was hung for half a sheep, for stealing half a sheep. So he owns this sheep with this other farmer. Yeah, yeah. And because he was trying to take charge of this sheep, he got hung for it. He's buried at um, Braddon Church. So half a sheep. Half a sheep. A bit harsh, like. It does make the world seem a bit namby-pamby these days, doesn't it? Fancy planting a tree in the middle of your living room. What's all that about? Somebody got no idea. <laughs> 
That's an ash as well, I think. Is it? Yeah. You're an ass. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm doing my it's best. Ash. So the ash, what was the use for Carla? Oh, warding away spirits. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. The old Manx folks, as we've said regularly, were very superstitious. So the first thing we had, we'd be planting an ash tree. And uh, when we were looking around here, just down behind Carla, if you turn around there, Carla, you can see the garden. As it was, because you can see the little um, beggar trees there. There's a nice bit of tree in there. An outbuilding over there, it's grown up through the... Is it? It looks like that one out at um, Cashel Yenard. Oh yeah, on the side and on of the, the wall. On the side, yeah. Yeah, I've got a photograph of that. <clears throat> 1888 oh. it was, wasn't it? Hang on. That murder, yeah. Was it? December, yep. It's a tricky little bit, isn't it? It's really small, isn't it? Yeah. Like if that if that is a bit of the house. Well, it's quite big it? because you've got that part and this part. I don't know to be part yeah. of the house, isn't it? Don't know. Who knows? Half the fun is guessing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Keep things mysterious. Now, spirits. What else have we got to see? So this would definitely be the garden, Carla. Do you think? Yeah. It's walled right round. I reckon it's all watery in there. Thorn trees for the dry and the clothes. Ow! Ooh! You've been pricked, girl. Yeah. No good wearing shorts. Hope you get pricked now as well. <laughs> oh, I get pricked regularly. <laughs> No comment. Not like you to say something. Oh, lovely. Look at that penny. Hi. It's a what fuchsia. What is that then? That's a fuchsia. Is it? In full flower. Definitely not been planted, it's grown here. Whoop! I'm alright. You sure? It's all right, you just stand there with that camera. Yeah, I, well, the camera, you'll heal. <laughs> Whoa. Tell you what I haven't found here yet. Well, didn't we? Where, well, actually, we, have, we spotted something last time, but I was thinking of my massive um, fascination in life. Oh, five egg? Yeah, so you guessed, huh? <laughs> Quite sad. Yeah, the amount of pee she does in a day, you can, I can guarantee she'd be thinking about her toilet straight away. You can imagine her in these old days out here. Okay, folks, forget the house, trees, just get that bloody toilet built. <laughs> yeah, you can't see one anywhere, can you? No, let's go and settle the gateway there. See, we'll see what we got. Oh, this is prickly. Because when we came the other day, I, I thought we spotted something up by the ground, didn't we? Oh, uh, up at the top there. I don't know where it was. It wasn't anything. It turned out to be a wall in the end, but... No, there was something in the ground here somewhere. Oh, it's not round here, Ray. It's over there. Anything there? No, it's, it's round. We'll go that way. Uh, it's those two pipes or something sticking yeah. out. Yeah, wasn't it here? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's not right here, it's round there. Gosh, it's hot. I'm beginning to think I should have put some sun cream on. Well, you're pretty brown on your shoulders, girl. You should be okay. Should have put my bikini top on. And you've got it with you, haven't you? Hey? You've got it with you. No, I didn't bring it. Didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing at me, buddy. That's why he's attacked me legs. I've got both hands stuck. You look like a pixie dancer. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, Carl was full of compliments about my. Shall we say. You make a good pixie dancer. That was good, that. Was that a bit gay? Um, 
Not sure you're allowed to say that. I'm not politically correct anymore. <laughs> right, that thing's around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Filled in well. We found this and we weren't too sure where it was because I was thinking maybe a horse mill. I would think it's more likely to be a well, you know, Carla. I don't know. It's well filled in though, isn't it? Yeah, just. Somebody out there will know with the answer to it. Yes. So that was the uh, one of the little farms on the Rowan Intac. We got a bit of Mr. Gelling. What else about Mr. Gelling did we know? Uh, Gelling was something to do with Neils. Oh, that's right, yeah. So the reason he was acquitted was because he walked home via a place, Mr. Neil's place, right. which is on the other side of the valley, well, on the other side of the reservoir, because he was taking a cart rope to his house. Right. And he walked home via that way. Um, and in, in the book it says across a field, which is interesting because it's obviously a forest now. Yeah, so the forest, when, when was that? They, weren't, they were planted in 1964. Were they? Yeah. Right, so. To 68. That would be a field. It was a field, and we'll go down to this other guy's house called Corkle. Do we have a name for that? The, not that one, no, we didn't find anything. I think that. it's called Bella Crink. Really? Yeah, somebody had put a f picture of a nook like that, but maybe not. Right. But somebody will tell us, won't they? Yeah, so we'll go and have a look at that as well. Um, but we, Neil's house is actually occupied, so we'll, we'll leave it. Oh, them right, that's home. a private residence. <laughs> Poking through their they windows. They better not video them. Make get... tea. People are funny about things like that. <laughs> so we're gonna go walk back up now to the road and then we'll take you on another little journey. Can you imagine the view back then? Like saw that the trees weren't there. It would have been amazing, wouldn't it? Well, you'd be looking over the whole part of Ramsey, wouldn't you? And the pier would be operation. And Especially Corkle's house, slap bang in the side of the valley. It would have been bloody gorgeous. It would have been. There was, um, what was that thing that you researched? Someone called John Gelling. Yeah. Not, not sure if it was his dad. What was it, 1883? Yeah. He died and a load of bricks fell on his head. Yeah, and the brickworks and people never heard of. I forget the name of it. So we assume it would be the same family anyway. I don't know. Is it, did it say from around here? Yeah. Yeah, it said the Rowan Intac. <clears throat> Come on, doggy, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 